move he's going to make so that the man can never conquer the bear unless he makes a move which he doesn't think about first. How will you do that? And then you get the same feeling with uh, relationship to a Zen master. You feel that he is absolutely aware of everything phony about you. That he reads you like a book. But that you can't find a way of being not phony. Think about this a little. You see, it's, uh, we can arrange uh, a group session, and this is a, a little game that's being played by lots of people, a kind of psychotherapy. We can arrange a group session in which the gimmick is this, that when anybody says anything or does anything, the group or some section of the, troop, of the group no. challenges its sincerity. and says, why are you coming on so strong? Are you trying to dominate us? And you see, anything that you do can be interpreted in that way. Because the moment a group of people becomes, starts making comments on its own behavior, it is setting up a situation within the group which is analogous. Say, in a TV studio, to turning the camera on the monitor. So, uh, when we start thinking about thinking, being aware of being aware. What? This is what is called in the Japanese the observing self. I watch myself all the time. See? You are in a hopeless mess. But this is the price that human beings pay for having become self-conscious. Anxiety and guilt. You have anxiety because to be fucking me right now, bro. Am I sure that I thought this out sufficiently carefully? When I left the house, did I turn off the gas stove? And incidentally, I remember turning it off, but can I trust my memory? I've learned to think about memory now, and I wonder if I can trust it. Maybe I'd better go back and look. But I went back and I looked. But did I really see? I'm thinking about my sight and whether whether this is quite authentic. Did I did I look properly? Because you know how the unconscious can alter your senses. And so I'd better go and look again. See, soon now I've got into a sort of vicious circle where I'll never get away from the house. And this, you, all this sort of getting mixed up is the penalty we pay for the advantageous gift of being able to know that we know. There was a young man who said, though, it seems that I know that I know. What I would like to see is the I that knows me when I know that I know that I know. And so this is the Zen trick. It's to put you into this situation in a very crucial way. To think about, thinking about, thinking about, thinking about. Or just the same thing, to make a very strong effort not to think. That's Zazen. Sit, let your senses operate and be responsive to whatever there may be around, but don't think about it. But now this is already thinking. I'm thinking about not thinking. How will I stop thinking about not thinking? So there you are. See, you're all caught up. It's like somebody came to you and they put tar in one hand, or molasses, feathers in the other, slapped the two hands together, and rubbed them around, and said, now pick off the feathers. So you...